Are there any lesser known facts or anecdotes about the 1973 TV series The Young and the Restless that fascinate you? Perhaps you've always wondered about the classic Hollywood actor who left a lasting impression on the show. In this brief exploration, we'll uncover some intriguing tidbits about this iconic soap opera, The Young and the Restless, which premiered on March 26, 1973, has become a staple of daytime television. Created by William J. Bell and Lee Philip Bell, the show was originally intended as a companion to the bold and the beautiful. Little did they know that it would go on to enjoy remarkable longevity and garner an avid fan following. One of the notable classic Hollywood actors in the series was Eric Breeden, who portrayed the complex character of Victor Newman. His charismatic presence and memorable performances added a touch of classic glamour to the show, making him a fan favorite. Now, we'd love to hear your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this TV series. Whether it's a heartwarming story or a memorable scene, please share it in the comments below. Your insights and anecdotes will undoubtedly enrich our appreciation of this enduring soap opera. So, don't hold back share your young and the restless moments with us. The Young and the Restless is a notable TV series that premiered in 1973. One interesting fact about this show is that it was the first U.S. soap opera and daytime program to be shown on HDTV. This technological advancement marked a significant milestone in the history of television. The show also featured classic episode theme weeks, each dedicated to various aspects of the storyline and characters. These themes added depth and variety to the series, making it engaging for viewers. In addition, viewers with a keen eye may have noticed that the china used by Catherine Chancellor, one of the prominent characters, was a Royal Albert pattern titled Heirloom. This attention to detail in the show's production is a testament to the care taken to create a rich and immersive viewing experience. These interesting tidbits provide a glimpse into the legacy of The Young and The Restless, a show that has entertained audiences for many years, combining technological innovation and attention to detail in its storytelling. The Young and the Restless, a TV series that first aired in 1973, underwent a significant change in 1980 when it transitioned from a half-hour format to a one-hour format. This change forced the show to recast multiple main characters and eventually phase out the original core families in favor of new ones. The reason for this transition was that the contracts with actors were initially for a half-hour show, not an hour one. One interesting aspect of the series is its use of a plot device involving sending children away to boarding school or out of town to live with former characters, only to have them return as teenagers. This plot twist has been used for characters like Victoria Newman, Nick Newman, Billy Abbott, Lily Winters, Noah Newman, and Abby Newman Abbott. In 1976, the show's theme song, Cotton's Dream, was used by ABC's Wide World of Sports as a musical background for a montage of Olympic gymnast Nadia Komensai at the 1976 Olympics. Although Nadia never actually performed to this tune, it became associated with her. Eventually, the song's writer officially renamed it Nadia's theme. The Young and the Restless has had its share of changes and unique plot devices over the years, making it a long-running and engaging show for its viewers. In 1973, The Young and the Restless hit the television screens, captivating audiences with its drama and intrigue. The show's original working title was The Innocent Years, which might have given it a different identity altogether. However, it soon became a household name under its current title. The soap opera's ability to adapt to real-life situations was evident when Jean Cooper decided to have a facelift. Instead of replacing her with a stand-in, the producers incorporated the storyline of Catherine Chancellor having a facelift, complete with hospitalization and recovery, keeping the character alive and the audience engaged. One interesting aspect of the show is its fan base. Baseball Hall of Fame shortstop Cal Ripken is one of its biggest fans, showing that the series has had a wide-reaching appeal beyond the typical soap opera audience. The Young and the Restless has had a long and enduring run, and these facts offer a glimpse into its ability to adapt and connect with its audience. So, whether it started as the innocent years or evolved with characters like Catherine Chancellor, the show has left an indelible mark in the world of television. In 1973, the TV series The Young and the Restless made its debut. 
It's a show that's been around for quite a while and has seen its fair share of interesting events and changes over the years. One notable event in the show's history occurred in preparation for its 50th anniversary celebration in 2023. To mark this milestone, the show held a contest where the winner got the opportunity to attend a special fancy party in honor of the show's 50th anniversary. But that's not all. A lucky winner also received a very special VIP tour of the show's sets and a two-night stay on a beach island. It was a grand celebration of a long-running show that has captured the hearts of many viewers. The Young and the Restless has also seen changes in its cast over the years. In the late 1990s, the untimely death of actress Michelle Thomas led to Sienna Goines stepping into the role of Callie Rogers Stark. Such transitions in the cast can be both challenging and intriguing for fans of the show. Another interesting fact from the show's history involves Michael Damien's character, Danny Romilotti. When he first came to the show, it was the character of Kay Chancellor who paid him money to make a video, with the hope that he'd pay her back. It's worth noting that in real life, Gene Cooper, who portrayed Kay Chancellor, didn't know much about rock music. This fact adds an intriguing layer to the dynamics behind the scenes of the show. In conclusion, The Young and The Restless has had a long and eventful history with interesting moments like the 50th anniversary celebration, cast changes, and unique character interactions. It's a show that has left a lasting impact on the world of television. The Young and the Restless, a TV series that began in 1973, has seen many memorable moments and cast members over the years. One such notable fact is that Gene Cooper had a remarkable 40-year run on the show, appearing in nearly every episode from 1981 to 2011, except for a few occasions when she was on medical leave. This showcases the dedication of the cast to the series. In 2020, the show faced an unprecedented challenge due to the COVID-19 outbreak. Production was shut down on March 16th, leading to a shortage of new episodes. To keep viewers engaged, the series aired classic episodes as repeats until new production resumed on July 20th. New episodes finally returned on August 10th, 2020, providing fans with fresh content. During the 1990s, The Young and The Restless ventured into prime time specials, which were aired on October 25th, 1995, May 22nd, 1996, and March 10th, 1998. These specials allowed the series to explore new storytelling opportunities beyond its usual daytime format. These facts highlight some of the key moments in the history of The Young and The Restless, a long-running series that has continued to captivate audiences for decades. As we draw the curtain on this journey through the timeless drama of The Young and The Restless, I encourage you to take a moment to reflect on the personal connection you've forged with this iconic TV series. For five decades, this show has been a steadfast companion, weaving stories of love, betrayal, and intrigue into the very fabric of our lives. Think back to the unforgettable characters, the tangled webs of romance, and the dramatic twists that have kept you coming back for more. Whether you watched it with your family, gathered with friends, or simply indulged in moments of solitary contemplation, the young and the restless holds a unique place in your heart. What's your fondest memory of the Abbots, Newmans, or the many other families that graced Genoa City? Is there a storyline that left a lasting imprint on your soul? Share your thoughts, your anecdotes, and your musings on how this show has left an indelible mark on your life. Your stories and memories are the threads that continue to enrich the tapestry of this beloved series. So, let your nostalgia flow and let us celebrate the beauty of storytelling that transcends generations. Thank you for embarking on this journey with us and for being a part of the remarkable legacy of the young and the restless. Your time and interest are truly appreciated.